Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to Frostpunk. Today, it is finally time to get started with the second scenario called the arcs. Now, if what I heard is true, this scenario is significantly more difficult than the first one. So, I hope you're ready to watch me fail miserably. As the brightest minds of Oxford and Cambridge, we have been sent to save priceless seed and plant specimens from the eternal winter. Do we have what it takes to keep the seedling arcs safe? So, differently from the very first scenario, in this one we're gonna have way less people. That means that we're gonna have to automate the city using automatons to the best of our abilities. Let's go ahead and customize the scenario, because I of course do want to go ahead and play on the hard difficulty. So the game will be more challenging with very little room for error. People will more likely, uh, will be more likely rather to get sick and they will become hungry faster. Resources will be gathered slower, technology will be researched slower and Frostland will have fewer resources. The temperature will drop faster and cold spells will last longer. People will be more sensitive to bad events and good events will have less of an effect. People will be pessimistic. Absolutely wonderful. Now, by the way, there is also a survivor mode, which basically makes it impossible, I believe, to pause the game. Maybe if I manage to crush this one, you know, I, I might, I might want to look into that. But for now, since I do have a tendency to pause quite a bit, I think it is time to jump into the hard difficulty. Now, I plan on uploading these episodes every two, three, maybe four days, kind of depending on what other video series I've got going on. So if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, as well as the little bell icon, so you get notifications as soon as future episodes go alive. And also, by the way, I, I'm gonna go into this with the mindset of likely failing miserably and being forced to restart several times. I will also be preparing several episodes usually in advance, so definitely feel free to give me any advice in the comment section of the video, but keep in mind that sometimes I am already like an episode or two ahead and, you know, I, I may keep on, you know, making terrible mistakes. For example, with the first one, um, I did not realize I had a third coal mine until probably like the second to last episode. You know, we eventually made it, but anyways. Um, the seedling arcs. We have been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure. The seeds and seedlings of plants from all over the world. They've been deposited in seedling arcs to stop them from freezing. But it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends. However long that may be. The only way to do this is with automatons. We'll ensure the green earth is reborn, even if we aren't here to witness it, or if we aren't there to witness it. Let's get to work. I love this idea so much. So I played this once upon a time on, I believe, the easy or the medium difficulty over at the live stream when the game first released. Ever since then, they've done a lot of, they've done a lot of quality of life improvements. But I, I do remember that this one is really cool, just because you're basically forced to just simply sit back and, and you know, work with the units that you've got or work with the, with the engineers that you've got, because there's not going to be a lot of other ways to get food, for example. Obviously, if you have less people, we also need less food, but we're still going to need a lot of coal and whatnot just to properly run the city when it does get colder. Anyways, we've got factory plants. We've reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. We were supposed to deploy automatons to make sure the city can run itself, no matter the weather, but the transport carrying the factory plants was lost in a blizzard. Oh, so we don't have it. We need to build a beacon and send a team to search for it. Alrighty, so here we are. We've got seedling arcs set up around the generator. And obviously those basically are the ones that we have to keep alive. The seedling arcs contain seeds and seedlings from around the globe that will help us rebuild the world in the future. Keep the, uh, keep the building rather at least chilly or the seeds inside will start to freeze beyond recovery. So essentially what they're trying to say is that they, they handed the faith of the future of the world in, in the hands of, of, of Emperor Loco. God Emperor Loco. I don't know if we're going to be able to be an emperor in this one here either. Anyways, let's have a look. Preserve the seedlings. We must ensure that the seedling arcs do not freeze. All the seedlings and many of the tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold. If the temperature in any seedling arc be falls below chilly for too long, its precious contents will be irreversibly damaged. So I'm assuming that means that if... 
all of the seedling arcs, you know, basically freeze to death, we'll probably lose. Right? I think I think that's what we're getting at. We do have stockpiles over here. We have a bunch of coal piles set up over here too. Wood crates as well as more coal. Is there any steel any nearby? Yeah, there is some steel here as well. Um, Alright, so it's going to be very important for us that we get all of these resources harvested ASAP. So I think right from the get-go, I'm going to go ahead and send a bunch of my dudes right here uh, towards the wood crates. I want to send some towards the, uh, the coal pile over there too. Maybe actually I should do the, the separate ones that are set up over here. You know what, let's try and min-max this right from the get-go, because otherwise I, I know I'm going to make terrible mistakes. This is like a great spot for, you know, one of those uh, one of those gathering posts, right? So this one, for example, is all by itself. There's some steel over here, too. I guess overall it's not too bad. By the way, this time around, rather than having like a circle, it looks like we've got more of like a... Uh, we've got an iron deposit here. Alright. Anyways, uh, we have more like a... I don't know. It's like, like an arrow-shaped, or, or like an arrow-tip-shaped... Uh, you know, area to work with, which obviously means that this area is going to be way colder because it's much further away. So we're going to have to be real careful with where we, you know, deploy our units and where we're going to be building our structures and all that. Anyway, I got some wood crates right over here. Uh, let's also mine some from coal piles, I suppose, while we are at it. And I guess I also have now a automaton right from the get-go. Don't know how much steel I'm going to need. But we'll get one of them started off right over there as well. And obviously we have one right here called the Mark III Laplander. But let's, let's you know, let's give it a good name. Um, Laser Giraffe. There we go. It looks a lot like a Colossus, okay? Looks a lot like a StarCraft II Colossus. All right. Um, we're going to need quite a lot of resources here because obviously I will need to make sure that people have houses. Right now the temperature is still at minus 20, which I think is okay. But the temperature soon will start dropping here already. Mm -hmm. Got myself a little bit of tea. Luckily, the temperature in real life is also finally dropping again. <laughs> we went through a bit of a heat wave. But um, this morning, I think it was like 10 degrees Celsius. Which is, you know, what my body is made for. It's what my body is most comfortable with. Alright, alright. So, I don't actually know how many people I'm gonna have. Right now, I've got 45 engineers. If I recall correctly, we're not really gonna get any more. So, I do think I should really go ahead and put my tents as close to the generator as possible, right? I think that's going to be our main goal. We want to make sure that they're all close together, that they all feel safe, that they all have homes. And obviously, that does also mean, by the way, that if someone dies, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. We don't really want to have anyone die. I know, that may sound very obvious, but... If you have, you know, 500 people, you can easily replace someone else as well, right? Alright. Um, I think I do want to start up the gathering post. And actually, can I go ahead and already sign a law? I sure can. I think what I should be looking for is the extended shift as, as quickly as possible. Right? I think so. Let's go ahead and do it. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand. At the uh, cost of everything else. Or die. So, obviously, that is going to raise discontent right from the get-go. But we are looking to get the uh, the longer shift, right? The uh, the extended work shifts. I think those are the one of the most uh, most uh, important upgrades to get in the early game. All right, uh, that one's misplaced, Loco. Don't do that. We have to min max as much as we can here in the early part. All right. So I think that those are pretty much only the only tens I'm gonna need for at least a little while. I can go ahead and set up a workplace over here. I do have some food, by the way, that I would like to uh, produce, yeah, as well. Um, yeah, you know what, cookhouse needs to be really warm too, so. Let's go ahead and construct one over there. Usually we can go one day or so without food, it looks like, but, you know, let's let's go ahead and get a gathering post here as soon as possible as well. So that one's a good, like, that one's in a great spot, right? Look at that. That's really nice. Let's put it as close to the generator as we can. Just because it's usually helpful to make sure that people actually live. But I gotta be careful though. The automatons obviously are very useful. Eventually I'm gonna need tons of them just to, to properly run this little town that we've got. Um, but yeah, if you have any tips on how to run this one properly, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section of this video. Always happy to hear your advice. What is going on here? The generator is off. People are afraid it will get really cold. Well, good point. Let's go ahead and turn it on. 
I've got 146 coal, not a lot of it. But for now, we'll make sure that everyone is warm. And I think that's the best thing we can do here. There's a lot of crates, by the way, and a whole lot of things that, uh, that we can gather over here. So I'm thinking about getting a second gathering post in this very same area as well, just in case. Um, that means we can also unassign some of the people that are working here. Let's put a couple of them over in the, uh, in the cookhouse. So tomorrow we're gonna have some proper food. So the first gathering post is now building. I wanna make sure that I assign as many people to this one as we can. Um, I actually have, well, three too many right now. We'll get a second one going as soon as possible, but for now, let's go ahead and speed up through the building of all of these structures. People have homes, look at that. Discontent at an all-time low. People are very content. And obviously, hope is looking pretty good as well. Um, we do have some ill people, so I have to keep that one in mind. I'm gonna have to make sure that I get myself a medical post here as well during the second day. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's gonna be a day-night cycle, obviously. Um, I kind of want to start up another one of those gathering posts first, though. I think that's fine. There we go. So, this night we should also have some food. There we go. That looks a lot better already. And then, obviously, I want to make sure that I get a medical post set up very close to the generator as well. Just because it needs a lot of, uh, it needs a lot of warmth, just like the cookhouse. Uh, alright. Steel wreckage has already been depleted. The lazy giraffe does not mess around. All right, you go over there then. Very good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and assign you over over on this one instead. I don't think I need this much steel. Got a whole lot of steel here already. It's just simply waiting. Looks like I can already go ahead and assign another law right here once again. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the extended shift. Building a city in this frozen hell requires sacrifice. People will get done more if we work longer shifts. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I know you guys are gonna be pissed, you don't like it. But look guys, I said it once, I'll say it again. Desperate times, ask for desperate measures. There we go. I wanna make sure that I gather all of these natural resources as quickly as possible. The ones that spawned right over here. Okay, very good. Let's unassign, um, where are you guys working? Right over here. Let's assign some of you over to the second gathering post. That should already do. Uh, we also, actually, you know what? Let's let's put a couple dudes over here in the medical post instead. I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna need right now. One of the mistakes I made in the previous uh, scenario is that I did not assign too many people to, um, to, to, for example, the medical post, right? And I had a lot of people getting super ill. I'm gonna have to pay real close attention to that. Because every single pe person here is extremely valuable. Um, we still have a lot of people working over there, so let's go ahead and assign them in that one instead. And I guess I'm gonna assign the final eight over in that gathering post too. Alright, so far so good, right? I like this quite a bit. It's all functioning, people are healthy. One thing I will have to do, obviously, is get myself a lot of these workshops. Um... Since I am going to need my um, beacon to start scouting for, uh, for the workshop plants, right? I'm going to need workshops, obviously, to build automatons. Um, I am definitely going to need these as soon as I can. So I'm trying to figure out here what location I want to put them in. Can I put two next to each other? I can. I think we're going to go with, I don't know, three for now. I'm not going to be able to assign too many people for or to it right now, obviously. Not yet, anyway. We first off need to gather as much here as we can, but... I think that's why uh, these gathering posts are so very helpful. We can just assign people there and make them work longer shifts. They're not going to be all too happy, but, you know, at least they're warm, right? They're nice and warm, and once they finish gathering, we'll assign them to all of the more important tasks instead. So, so far, everyone's being treated. All of the engineers are looking good. William, very low risk of, of getting ill. He's alone in the world. That's sad, but... Emma is too, so maybe, you know, William and Emma. Can we ship them? Can we... I'm not entirely sure. Everyone's alone in the world, though. Do we have anyone who's not alone in this world? Um, I think they're pretty much all alone. Yeah, it's a little sad. Sad times. They traveled all the way up north together, and now this is where they are. And apparently there's no one who's really here to love them. Feels bad. 
Uh, all right, let's go ahead and assign some people over in the very first of the workshops. And obviously, I want to make sure that I start up a research right from the get-go, too. I, I'm thinking to just simply get the beacon going right away. I'm going to need some steel as well to build it, but that's okay. I already have some of that. Um, my automaton is still working desperately or, or tirelessly, tirelessly right there at the coal pile. But obviously, I need to make sure that I, I really... You know, get heaters and whatnot researched as well. So, since the temperature is going to drop soon, I think I'm fine with minus 30. With just the first steam level here, but we, we do have to manage it. And I'm also going to need a lot of technology just to, you know, make sure that we get all of these iron deposits and the coal deposits and everything organized too. So, this is going to be rather tricky. But we'll try our very best. Um, Alright, so far so good. I can't quite assign everyone here yet. I would like to, but I don't really have that option. Um, so this one should be gathered relatively quickly. Um, no one's still digging out anything with their hands, right? No, it looks like we're good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove the people out of that gathering post just to start moving them towards the workshop as well. Workshop also. I'm sorry, guys. You're also going to work 14-hour shifts. You get to sleep and you get to, uh, you know, work. That's the only thing you get to do. All right. Um, now, in this one, obviously, we have to be... Like, we don't have a lot of food, right? The thing is, I have no proper way of gathering any food. So, I think the food that we do have, it should probably be spent um, on soup here initially. Or food additives, I think that's also an option, but overall. By the way, we don't have that branch over here for the children. Remember that one? I think that means that we're not going to get any kids in this one. Emma and William, I mean, they may be shipped, but they're not going to get any kids. We're not uh, we're not expecting to survive for that long. Uh, sustained life, radical treatment. Both of these are extremely important. Um, I think sustained life is going to be the way to go. But for now, I think I'm going to go with soup, just in case. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Obviously, right now, I've got zero raw food income, right? Which is kind of bad. But we'll set them up to soup over here. Here we are, reduced to poverty, such is the price of survival. At least uh, she understands what's going on. Alright, so technology is going to go pretty quickly here. The thing is, obviously, with this few people, it's very difficult as well to lower discontent and improve hope. Right? That is something we really have to keep in mind. One of the wood crates already has been um, apparently gathered completely. Alright, that's good to know. I think this one is all going to be gathered pretty rapidly. The automaton is still going to town. It's gathering a lot of coal, which is fine. Kind of want it working as well on this steel wreckage, but it's okay for now. I think the beacon is going to be really important. Now, obviously, the beacon... Can I even assign engineers on it? I guess so. The beacon is going to require five people, right? In order to get the scouts going. So, I've got enough steel right now. Kind of feel like I should assign some people here uh, to watch the gathering of some more steel. Just because I'm a little worried that I won't have enough otherwise. I can make it right now. I can I can start up the beacon. Uh, where do I build it? I can just build it anywhere, right? Yeah, this one does not require a very specific location, if I recall correctly. Um, so I kind of like this spot over here. There's not a whole lot else happening here. Do you think that's actually too close by? I'm not sure exactly how much... Like, how much space I'm going to need. And I don't really want to destroy any re natural resources either, right? Maybe over there? Yeah, that means I won't have to build a road either. It's probably okay. Right next to the seedling arc. That's okay. I think there's gonna be more than enough lumber anyway. If there's one thing we learned in the previous one is that there's not really a need for too much lumber in a lot of these scenarios. I mean, we're still gonna need it obviously, but it's not like we need to like necessarily rush it out either. Um... All right, yeah, let's, let's just do it from the center. There we go. That was just for my aesthetics. <laughs> All right, so that means that one research has already been completed very quickly. I think the sawmill is going to be very important. Steelworks is going to be very important. Faster gathering, also extremely important. So this basically just means, if I understand correctly, that everything will be gathered 15% faster. I thought initially that was only when people were digging it out with their, you know, bare hands, but doesn't look like that's the case. Uh, we should probably go ahead and dismantle the gathering post for now. Same for the other one. It wasn't really necessarily worth it, but at least we had a place for them to work for a little while. 
Um, but I think technology is really gonna be the name of the game. Like, the more technology we get, the easier this is gonna be. Right? Because, obviously, making more automatons and making more and more, um, just, just, um, you know, technology, uh, or technological advanced uh, decisions is gonna help a lot. Because you just require less people to do the same amount of work. Alright, so let's get that scouting party out on the map as soon as possible. There we go. Beacon has been built. Now, I do have to send some people to watch the abandoned supply there. I hope that the factory plants are going to be located there too, but... Storm on the horizon! Captain, with the beacon operational, we can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. It's still some distance away, but we better keep an eye out on it to make sure we have set up the infrastructure needed to heat the arcs before it hits. Alrighty. Um, so who are we gonna assign to... Hmm, I guess I'm gonna actually assign five engineers out of the workshop for now. And send them to... Yeah, indeed, we are gonna send them right here to become a scouting party instead. Towards the abandoned supply. A few white mounds stand out in the otherwise flat landscape. We left some supplies there on our way from Britain. Alright. Very good. So, so far this is looking pretty nice. We are u using quite a bit of food as well, by the way. How am I going to properly get food? I cannot make any hunter huts. Because obviously they can only be... I think I'm going to have to run hut houses. Hut houses require steam cores, though. Hmm. Actually, I might have to pay attention to that. Where are the hot houses again? Yeah, I need to tech up to the second tier here as soon as possible. I think that's going to be my only proper way of getting food. I think. I'm not going to need that much food, but I'm going to need food, right? Right now, my food rations are already very low. Alright. I think I've actually got more than enough coal right now. I could probably reassign this automaton to start gathering some steel. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and move you over towards the steel pile instead. There we go. These guys should be finishing up their gathering very soon as well, so that's going to help out quite a bit. Um, so that means that I think I should be in a good spot to maybe even start considering a fourth factory as well. Now, my soup law has been signed. I can make a fighting arena. I kind of feel like I am going to use the fighting arena and, like, the dueling laws in this entire, like, tier over here for when I get in trouble and when my people are not satisfied anymore, right? When my discontent is really high, I feel like I can use this tier over here, like this branch, um, to lower discontent. I think that's smart. We have a cemetery. And we have corpse disposal. Um, last time around I went with the corpse disposal because we had the organ transplants. I'm not sure yet which one I want to go with. I do want to make sure though that I have sustained life. Radical treatment means that a lot of people will be, you know, uh, amputated. We can fix that eventually, but I don't think I want to do that. I think we want to have like a care house or something. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it does. But I think it's smart. So we cannot cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We will not risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. I think that's smart, right? Sustain life, make sure people are going to be cured here eventually. Yeah, we're going to need an infirmary to make sure that people are going to be treated properly. Right now, we don't have any, any gravely ill people, but I think we may as well sign that law off a little bit early. Um, that one uh, cook, I suppose, can now be assigned to the workshop as well. Just because there's not a whole lot else they can do. Okay, very good. Should we make a should we make a fourth workshop already? I think we probably should. I've got the resources for it. Soon this one is gonna run out of resources to gather as well, so I think this is okay. Um, that one is at ninety percent efficiency because one of them is in treatment. Okay. All right. So far, so good. I'm liking this. I don't think it's worth getting like a second scouting party out, right? Considering how quickly we had that beacon up, it's probably okay. I'm really gonna have to tech up though. I am definitely gonna need uh, need food. All right, so there's my technology tree once again completed. What do I need to tech up? Just a bunch of just a bunch of wood. So coal thumper, sawmill, steelworks. These are all very important. But I think right now, yeah, I think right now it's all gonna be about food because people are gonna get really ill if they don't eat. So let's get that going as soon as possible, so we can start making hot houses and get some food. Yep, 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 yep. I think that's smart. Alright. Hope I'm not actually building these workshops too close to the center. They don't need that much heat, right? They only need a heat level of 2, I believe. So maybe I got them a little too close to the center. Anyway. I'm assuming it's gonna be fine. A 
automaton is gonna work this, yeah, this thing tirelessly, so this one will run out within the day. And then we have the gathering post over here too, that's still gathering some of the wood crates and whatnot that are nearby, but they are also running low pretty quickly. Same can be said actually for these resources, although this coal pile still has quite a bit. The wood at the very least is, is running out rapidly. There's still some coal over here that we can also gather, but I think we are gonna run out of steel and wood first. I hope I'm gonna get some of those resources over at, uh, over at the supplies. Maybe I'm gonna even get the factory plants already. That would be super helpful. Just because then I can start making more and more automatons. Now, the thing is, both hothouses as well as automatons require steam cores. I've only got three of them, so we're gonna have to figure out whether or not there's like an outpost or something along those lines to continuously bring myself some of those steam cores, because if I don't have them, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, to really achieve very much. All right, so they made it towards the abandoned supplies, and there are steam cores here, okay. So our supplies are covered in snow and ice. They seem undamaged, but we'll have to dig them out to be sure. We spent hours hacking at the ice to free our supplies, but we did it. We were forced to abandon them once. Doing it again would be unforgivable. All right, so that's 24 steel and then also one uh, steam core right there. Apparently, there's also a couple of sites that have been recovered over here. The ice full mine, as well as the broken automaton. A large snow dune covers a broken automaton that we had to leave behind during our, our journey from Britain. Maybe we can repair that? Let's just go ahead and send the scouts over in that direction and we'll see what they bring back. Yeah. All right. So soon the temperature is going to drop to minus 40. Chilly currently, though. Look at that. That's not great. Can I, like, can I use heaters in these seedling arcs? Because once it goes down to minus 40, it's going to be too cold. Hmm. I'm not sure. I might have to set up heaters as well. How much time do I have? Oh, I've got a couple days. That's fine. Let's get hot houses first. So hot houses are basically a place where we can grow food. A few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 26 raw food per day. So this is much more efficient, obviously, than the hunter huts that we did in the very first of our playthroughs. But obviously, it is gonna it is gonna make life a little tricky as well because we have to dedicate a lot of people there. The seedling arcs might freeze. Yeah, I just realized that. Captain, uh, it's God Emperor. Sorry, it's it's God Emperor. Thank you very much. Uh, Captain, a few, uh, or rather, in a few days, the temperature will drop. Our seedling arcs will be in danger. We have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hubs. Okay, so heaters indeed are a great option. I did find that steam hubs were very good as well, but I'm not sure if that's worthwhile if most of my structures are going to be near the center. I think I'm going to run heaters this time because the majority of my, um, the majority of my, of my money, I, I, I suppose, was. Or, or rather, the majority of my coal rather was spent on um, running all of the running all of the steam hubs. So I think I'm probably gonna try out heaters and see if that's possible. I know you can upgrade heaters as well to make them more efficient. So, anyways, um, this gathering post over here has finished everything. Let's go ahead and destroy the road, and we'll go ahead and assign some over towards the coal pile over here. And I'll also get some working right over here, actually, in the, uh, in the workshop. Alrighty. Quite a lot of coal here so far. I don't mind that. The ones that are working over here are soon going to be dedicated to hothouses instead. Now, hothouses, I believe, do need a bunch of heat. I'm not entirely sure if I can get away with just a single hothouse. We could probably upgrade them, too, and just become more efficient once again, but... Alrighty. Very, very good. Look at him. Look at the laser giraffe going to town there. I'm secretly hoping we're gonna get a second one going as soon as possible. We, by the way, are completely out of food, which is really bad. Not really what we want. A new law can be signed already. Um... Care house? The gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at a low-cost special home. The gravely ill are kept alive in the care houses and no longer burden medical posts. Residents of care houses eat half as much and hope will rise slightly. I don't really have any use for any of this, dude. <laughs> like, I can, I can sign the law just fine. I might want to go with a cemetery, right? Let, let, let's be nice. We will establish a burial ground so we can lay our dead to rest with dignity and respect. So there's a new building called the cemetery. Hope will rise slightly. There's no risk of diseases from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep people from work for a few hours and you will have to establish a cemetery. I think that's fine. Let's do it. So that's gonna at the very least bring my hope slightly back up. Right? I don't think it's a big deal. 
Um, we can maybe put it over here, right? Not a terrible spot for it. Um, yeah, let's put it over here. So the cemetery is going to be right behind the seedling arc. I don't think this one has to... No, I don't think it matters if it's warm, right? I don't think that's an issue. With the corpse disposal, we could uh, we could not heat it up for obvious reasons, but... Hmm, pretty good. Hmm. I feel like we're off good to a great start, guys. Not gonna lie. Right? Hope is pretty good. Steel wreckage has been depleted. Okay. That means we're gonna assign the automaton back on there. And you guys... I guess you can you can you can dig right here to coal pile for a little bit. Alrighty, so automaton just finished up a lot of its uh, a lot of its duties already. We're gonna have to make sure that it can continue harvesting though. Not to be underestimated. All right, so we made it to the broken automaton. Only the top of the automaton is sticking out of the snow. Digging it out will take some effort, but should be worth it. One hundred percent. Yes. This automaton was left where it broke down. Thankfully, we managed to dig it out and fix it. We can now send the fully operational automaton to the city. Alrighty. Go. Yeah, it's gonna arrive. It's gonna take a little while, but we'll get there. A dark shape looms at a distance, clearly visible on the wide plain. It is the main vehicle from our expedition. Um, you know what? If this is the main vehicle from our expedition, I can imagine the factory plans are probably over there too, right? It makes sense. I wonder if we should second a, a second group of scouts out. Maybe that's a little greedy. Probably not worth it. Probably. Okay, coal pile depleted over there. There's one more uh, group of coal over here. We are gonna need lumber, by the way. I don't have a lot of it. Okay, hot houses has been reset. Let's go ahead and make one. Uh, they do need heating level one, right? Yeah, they do. So they're gonna have to be as close to the center of this thing as we can. Well, I hope I can get away with just a single one. Look how massive these structures are, by the way. <laughs> All right, well, at the very least, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully have some people ready to go there. The coal pile, by the way, has also been now finished. Let's go ahead and send the automaton over in that area. We have to start another research here. Bunk houses are probably fine. Charcoal kilns are probably fine. Um... So, what I learned in the previous one, right, is that the wall drill gave me a stupid amount of lumber. Sawmill requires a lot of people, and with that, obviously, a lot of automatons as well. Coal Thumper also was extremely helpful. I'm kind of tempted to just go straight into the wall drill and skip the sawmill altogether. I don't know if that's smart, but I've got a feeling it's not a terrible idea. I could get more scouts, but I'm a little hesitant with that one. Um, I think steam hubs and, and heaters can probably wait for a little while. Let's get wall drill. So I want to make my uh, automatons work in the wall drills instead, if that's possible. I think that's smart. Okay, one of you guys can go over there. Yeah, a word of advice on steam cores. We only have a few. We're gonna need a lot more. I hope I can get a lot more, but... If I can get, like, a wall drill set up, right? And I, I have my automatons working there. I think I'm gonna be more than enough. Uh, I'm gonna be more than fine. Look at the amount of wood over here, though. Kind of makes me wonder if it's maybe smart to get the sawmills going. I got them going in the previous one, but... Alright. So, we have engineers now working right here in the hothouse. I think I'm going to unassign some from that very first gathering post. As well as some from that very first, uh, or rather the fort factory that we made. And we have now 10 dudes working right here in the hothouse. They're going to grow crops. Look how beautiful and luscious that looks, right? And then we have one right here working in the cookhouse as well, too basically make it so that we hopefully will have some food once again. Right? So, yeah, there we go. So we get food rations. We're still dedicated to soup for now. Just to make it more efficient. That one cook is going to town. Just making, like, a massive amount of broth and just, you know, throwing in whatever vegetables we can find. I think this is okay. We can sign a lot of laws. I uh, don't really know if it's worth it, to be honest. Ceremonial funerals. Ooh. Uh, those who give their lives in service of the city deserve the, uh, the highest honor. We will give our dead ceremonial funerals to inspire the living. Loss of hope caused by death is half. Now, so far, I've had no, no dead people at all. <laughs> death is an everyday thing here. Why celebrate it? Arnold! Dude, I remember you from your television show. Hey, Arnold! Anyone else? Just me? Alright. 
Um, we have the Lost Dreadnought. <sighs> Look at all that. Our expedition's main vehicle left hopelessly wedged in a crevasse. Exploring it will be difficult, but we have to find the factory plants that are on board. Alright. Search the area, please. We rappelled down into the crevasse, listening to the ominous sounds of the ice cracking under the weight of the steel behemoth. After an hour or so of searching, we find the documents, safe and retrieve the factory plants. We must get them to the city as fast as possible. The weather is getting worse by the minute and we need automatons to secure the city and the seedling arcs before the storm hits. Oh my god, 50, that's a lot guys, that's really good. Plus the factory plants? Yes, go back to the city. So they are gonna bring back a lot of things. Excellent, now we can start setting up the automated infrastructure to keep the seedling arcs at a safe temperature. Bring back the plants, set up a factory and increase the hope, uh, or rather the increase the number of autom uh, automatons to three. So far, I feel like we're off to a great start, guys. Now, we gotta remind ourselves that overconfidence is a slow, but insidious killer. We cannot do that. I still have to pass the heaters as well to make sure that the seedling arcs don't just like, you know, die. But, you know, up to this point, I'm not too, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too bothered by it. Alright. So, we can go ahead and start up a wall drill. Apparently, there's one over here. How many do we have? Do we only have one? Um, I just want to make sure that I don't forget, like, the coal power. I believe there's only one, guys. I believe there's only a single wall drill. That's fine. If we get it going right now, we're gonna have lumber for the rest of the game. More than likely, anyway. Very good. We still have a little bit of time before the temperature drops, so that's cool. Let's get the coal mine going as well then, right? I mean, does this cost... Uh, yeah, that does cost a, a, a um, steam core as well. As it is right now, I'm gonna have to build another one to make my third automaton. They are bringing back a lot of steam cores as well though, so I don't think I have to be too worried about it. Um, let's see if we can maybe get the um, coal mining research first. And then we'll follow it up with the heaters, okay? And then we'll, we'll turn on the heaters and the seedling arcs and then we'll survive, right? My plan for survival is on point so far. Alright, so that one's gonna start working on, on that tirelessly. We have quite a lot of food here, so people are eating. One of them is a little hungry, but, you know, that's just because he doesn't want to do what he's... I don't know why he doesn't want to do that. Anyway, um, I think that's okay. Now we should probably also get up a gathering post over here. Just to make sure that we secure all of the stuff that is, you know, available in this area. So I'm pretty sure, by the way, the automatons just keep working anyway. Alright? So I just want to double check. This is for steel. That is for the coal. Alright, alright, we're good. Just make sure that I don't forget any of my natural resources. Playing that very first one, though, to the best of my abilities... Did make it, or does make it so that I feel a lot more confident in this one as well. But apparently one of the hardest things in this one is making sure that your people do not get too discontent and do not lose hope. For now, I'm still letting them work overtime. Obviously, the longer that this goes, uh, we are, we're gonna reduce the amount there. I think that's okay. Very nice. So a lot of people are hungry. Is that fine? Well, it's not, you know... <laughs> It's not fine. Bad food as well. I think I can get away with just one hothouse, right? I don't really have the time to... Uh... Let's have them work an emergency shift. I was just talking about how hard it is to get discontent down, but... Need to get some food. Okay, coal power has been depleted. Um, we can have an automaton. Can you guys... Actually, can an automaton work in the gathering post? They can. Well, actually, never mind. You don't get to work there. Just kidding. You're now dedicated to the wall drill. Go ahead, start drilling that wall. Give me the lumber that I need, Mr. Automaton. Alright, so they're soon gonna return here. I wanna make sure that I get my factory going as soon as possible. Wood crates also... De oh my god, everything is working! Let's go ahead and, uh, and reduce the people working in that building to zero. And let's go ahead and destroy the road over on this side. And you guys can now start gathering some coal over here in this area instead. Very good. Alrighty. I'm feeling confident, guys. As long as my temperature drop is not gonna hurt, I, I feel like it's okay. Let's get the heaters. And then we'll turn on the heaters over here in the seedling arcs. That's a pretty quick research, so I think we're fine. 
We have the coal mine now ready to go too. So let's get one going. Second automaton is going to be here in just a little bit. So that's great. And um, there are, by the way, several spots right here for steel. So that's, that's better. At the very least manageable. Working day and night. Sir, people are questioning the needs for so many emergency shifts. They understand that our situation requires hard work from everyone, but do we really need to rely on heroic efforts so often? A break would be nice. No, I will not address this. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Alright, so the scouts have returned to the city, bringing with them a ton of resources. Alright, that's great. You guys immediately go back to, I guess, the ice for a mine, all right? I will not, like, loop you guys around if there's not going to be additional sites to discover over there. I think that's good. Um, we also now have the factory plants ready to go, which is awesome. Where do I want to build this one? Well, I mean, it's almost like it's meant to be, right? Right next to the cemetery. So you can do, you know, your, your nice little parade around the city when people die, and then you can work in the factory just seconds later. <laughs> Or I guess actually the, uh, the, the walk around the city was at 9, right? Doesn't matter. Alright, so soon we can assign people there too. I do think I actually want to remove them out of this area here. All the cogs are oiled. Great. So is that the automaton arriving? It was. Great. So automaton can gather from this area here for a little bit. That's great. Sir! An automaton has reached the city. It's fully operational and ready for work. Hello? Uh, Col Colossus. I need, to, I need to have a lot of creative names. Guys, let me know in the comment section of the video. I need a lot of crea creative names for my automatons, you know? Because I have no idea what I'm going to call them. I'm running out of ideas already, and we're going to have quite a few of them. Uh, 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 uh. Very good. I'm looking for great suggestions. All right. So we have nine people currently not doing anything. Um, you guys can work over there for a little bit. Alrighty. I've got almost too much wood right now, which is kind of hilarious. Maybe I should already start looking into um, resource depots, right? It's a little early, I feel like, but it's much better than just letting all of this go to waste. Question is, where do I want to put them? This looks like a nice little area for... Uh, if I can destroy the trees, right? If I can destroy the natural resources over here, I think this is a nice little place for... Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, it's a nice little place for, uh, for resource depots. We can just create, like, a whole lot of storage over in this area. Okay, good. I just made three of them. Just so we can, uh, we can store more of our stuff. Temperature drop is coming in soon. Uh, my heating is not ready yet. That's a bit of an issue. My heating is not quite done yet, and the temperature will drop very soon. We can assign some people over here in the factory. You guys can start producing one of these things. Actually, can we? Uh, hold up for a sec. I have to produce an automaton. Right? That cost me 100 steel in order to produce one. Actually, I'm a little worried. I did not quite think about the fact that I need the steelworks as well. We don't have any other ways of getting steel, right? Yeah, we are going to get the steelworks very soon. That's going to be my next priority. Because right now I don't have any steel to, uh, you know, <laughs> produce anything with. Alright. So it's just going to be two of them for now. That's alright. We're going to produce an automaton. Which I think is okay too. This one's still working over there, which is probably okay. Temperature is going to drop here. I'm a little bit hesitant about that, guys. The seedlings are in danger. So, how quickly do these things die? This building must be at least chilly inside to work. Oh god. Minus 40 degrees. So, my temperature drop is here. It's currently cold. But we do have the research now ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn on the heating in the four seedling arcs. Is that okay? I think that's okay. I think that's just barely okay. All right, very good. Close call there. That could have actually been uh, disastrous. All right, good. Um, yeah, let's get the steelworks going. Quick research should be done by the end of the day. And we can obviously assign automatons there too. Uh, the temperature is on, right? 
Please tell me that's enough. Okay, yeah, it is enough. <laughs> I was getting a little worried there. Uh, we also need to turn on the heating right here in the hothouse, because apparently that one also needs a bunch of temperature. Okay, very good. Uh, anything else we have to worry about? Not really. Uh, let's just change that one for now. We don't really need it too much. Since I just spent a lot of it already. Uh, but I really want to continuously start building automatons here as quickly as we can. Because we need to secure that second coal pile. We need to secure two steelworks here. All of it requires a whole lot of automatons. So if, if we can get them going quickly, that is extremely, extremely beneficial. Um, okay. So I seem to have enough food here for the time being. I only need to assign like one, one, one dude in coal. We got an automaton currently building. This one is still going to town over here in the gathering post. I think that's okay. We just want to sort of just, you know, get rid of that before we uh, start working on the coal mine. There is an ice fall mine over here. This mine is at risk of being buried by an avalanche at any time. It must have been abandoned a long time ago. Judging by the equipment, it looks like this mine was constructed before the Great Winter, possibly by the first prospectors to explore the area. The general disarray inside the buildings suggests they were abandoned abruptly, presumably, uh, presumably due to some sort of earthquake. Many valuable resources have been left behind. Alright, well, since this actually has a bunch of steel, I kind of tempted to just send them back and just, you know, it's not going to be too efficient, but since they return rather quickly, I think it's okay. I need to have some steel, right? Yeah, it's not too, it's not too slow. I wonder if it's worth going for the second group of scouts, though. Two scouts would be very helpful. Sir, an engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automatons can be improved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learned how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can, uh, I can adjust the improve. Wait, okay. So... He will not be working for 24 hours. So he's doing... I'm assuming this is going to be a good, a good set of, of, of upgrades that he can bring to the automatons. That is going to make it just a little less efficient, I suppose, but... We'll, we'll allow him the day off for now. Discontent, by the way, is very high. We need to be careful. Let's get the steelworks going. I think that's useful. Okay. Very good. We can once again do another research here as well. Um, I wonder if more scouts is worth it. What do you guys think? I don't know how much scouting I'm going to be able to do. What I did find, though, in the first scenario is that scouts were extremely good. Like, they did a lot of work. They really made life way easier. For now, I don't really need to worry too much about temperature drops either. Since I seem to be relying mostly on my scouts for continued steam core production, I feel like it's going to be one of my limiting... Um, excuse me, one of my limiting um, uh, factors. I, 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 You know what? I'm going to pick it up. That does make me, like, I'm gonna have to use 10 people on that, right? 10 people just dedicated to scouting. That's a lot. Maybe it's a little too much, but I can always send them back. Um, I'm sorry, I cannot do this. We have to be careful, guys. This content is super high already. I think soon I want to make sure that their emergency shifts and their overtime shifts and whatnot are, are no longer a thing. But for now, I, I'm a little worried that I... Uh, uh, this is not not amazing, but if I if I prevent them from doing that right now, I might be in trouble. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Let, let's let's make it so they no longer have to work overtime. At least in some places, cook house as well as the hot house. I think we're probably at, at, a, at a decent amount of food for now. The workshop is yeah, it's probably okay. Can I, um, can I use automatons to work in workshops? Is that a thing? Can I do research? That doesn't make a lot of sense. If AI starts producing AI, right? It's like a, it's like a, a real-life scenario we are in right now as well, when AI finally starts working and producing additional artificial intelligence. It becomes a bit of a scary moment, right? But anyway. Uh, first automaton is just about to be ready. 
A word of advice, Captain. When facing demands, remember the people usually look for the quickest solution and not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Well, you say that, but if my discontent gets full, I am screwed. <laughs> let's let's switch over to good food as well, okay? All right, so hopefully, like, I'm gonna have to manage the discontent bar very closely. Because otherwise, I, I might actually be in a, in a world of hurt. Is that one still being destroyed, by the way? I think it is. For some reason, it just hasn't yet. All right. So this one is going to still bring back these resources. I kind of feel bad having these coal piles just sitting there, right? So I'm just going to I'm just going to mine this one out first before assigning them to the coal pile. Automaton should be coming out in a sec. As soon as the building is done, I suppose. Or at least in the morning. Um, let's go ahead and actually move that one over. I need some more steel. We have enough coal as it is right now. Yeah, dedicating 10 people, though, to uh, to scouting might be a little much. I'm a little worried if that's maybe a bit too much. Because that means that I can use less less workshops. Get going. Time to earn your bread. Okay. An automaton, or an automata city, rather. The automatons are performing admirably. Now we have to make sure that we have enough of them to automate all the critical operations in the city before the storm hits. It's the only way to ensure that the seedling arcs will be supported during the storm. Hope rises. Very good. So I love this though, the idea that, you know, you get like a bunch of dudes working and everyone else is like trying their very hardest to just simply, you know, do research and everything to make this a little more manageable. I, I like the idea a lot. Um, all right, so I need two more engineers for my second scouting team. Let's send them out. You guys, head on over to the stone ship. It's gonna take you a long time to get there. But, yeah, I, I think it's a smart move, right? That also means I have less... I love the little steps in the snow as well, by the way. That's so sick. Uh, but that does mean that I need less people here as well, just simply working around. Um, the blue Norfolkman? Oh, my God. Um... What is another, what's another good name for a laser giraffe, for a StarCraft II Colossus? I need more synonyms for, for StarCraft II Colossi. Um, hmm. I guess, I guess it shoots fire, right? F fire, fire shooter. There we go. Fire shooter is a great name. But I'm sure you guys can be more creative. Let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, temperature is gonna drop once again in just a little bit. I might need to generate a ranged actually in this uh, in this scenario a lot quicker, right? If I if I so I don't know exactly how far that range reaches, but if I can get my my seedling arcs to be in range of the generator, that one's gonna be easy to maintain, right? The other ones are gonna be a little tricky. If I if I can if I get it in range of the generator, it should be relatively easy. Um, alrighty. I'm kind of tempted to just tech up already and just start making upgrades to my uh, to my automatons. Obviously, that's quite far away, but... Oh, I can actually use automaton scouts. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even consider that, really. Allows us to deploy automaton and scouts to raise the scouting limit by one. Oh, wow! I can have a third scouting party? Huh, interesting. I think for now I'm not going to bother with that, but that is very interesting. Hmm... Um, bunkhouses are gonna be needed soon. Actually, are they gonna be needed soon? These are chilly right now. I might need to upgrade the generator at this point. I don't have to use it yet, but I think I should start upgrading it, just in case. We still have a couple days, though, until, uh, until the temperature drops. Obviously, getting resources early makes, uh, makes life easier as well. I could just start teching up and get all of these upgrades here too, right? There's a lot of value in having those. This is like this is like StarCraft 2, right? You get your drones first before you tech up, right? Because the earlier you have your drones, the easier it's going to be to get more resources. Temperature drops, like they need to be there, and, or rather my temperature has to be on point by the time the temperature drops, but having it too early essentially wastes resources because you could have spent it differently. Um, so how many days do I have? No, it's not really that much. There's, there's, there's like today and then tomorrow, I guess. Let, let's get the heating sorted first. Although improved heaters might not be a bad option either. 
Let's let's get drafting machines, improved heaters. That should be in time, and then I can improve the heating right here on the seedling arcs. I think that's a smart decision to make. We'll figure out how it uh, how it continues onwards in the next episode. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as future episodes go alive. I'm really excited to continue onwards with this though. I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. It's like it's like a single player RTS, right? A single player strategy game. Although we can pause, so it's maybe not necessarily a real time. Uh, it is a single player strategy game and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So if you are as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you made it all the way until the very end of this video, make sure you hit the like button as well. It's the easiest way of helping me grow this channel other than maybe like telling your friends to, you know, come and hang out over here too. Uh, but regardless, for now. I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? A special shout out to the Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. I'll see you once again in the next one.